Okay, so CPU scheduling then. So the CPU scheduler with inside your vSphere environment is essentially there to schedule virtual CPUs onto physical CPUs. Okay, so that it, one of the main tasks is it to choose which world, and we just discussed about worlds, should be scheduled to a processor. So the scheduler checks physical CPU utilization every 20 milliseconds and migrates the world across your, across your physical CPUs as necessary. When your CPU resources are overcommitted, for example, ESX or ESXi implements the proportional share-based algorithm. So the host actually time slices the physical CPUs across all of your virtual machines so that each one runs as if it had a specified number of virtual processors. It then associates each world with a share of CPU resource. So that's when, when you get any contention within your VMware environment, your vSphere environment, that the actual shares, when you have your shares assigned to any virtual machines or any resource pools that you have in your environment, come into play. So this entitlement, as I say, is implemented when the CPU resources are overcommitted. Again, it's calculated from our resource user specifications, such as shares, reservations, and limits. But the ratio, it does a ratio of consumed CPU against its entitlement, and that is used to actually set the priority of the world. So an example here on, on the slide says that the, the and the key word to, to remind everyone of here is the word set. We set the priority here to high because our consumed amount of CPU that's been measured is less than our entitlement. Okay, so we're actually setting that value to be high because our consumed CPU is less than what we actually should be entitled to.